As preparation for tonight's homework on c converting uh, metric measurements, um, I wanted to review a little bit of how we name decimals. So, for example, uh, if I wanted to write like six hundredths, what I would need to do is I would have to have a decimal, a space here for the tenths place, and then a space for the hundredths place. That's where my six is going to go, and then I'm going to put in a zero for any unfilled spaces. So here we have six hundredths. If I wanted to make seventeen hundredths, seventeen hundredths, what I would need to do is I'd make to, I'd have to make sure that the second digit in seventeen is in the hundredths place, or the last digit in, se in the number seventeen is in the hundredths place. So I have the tenths place and the hundredths place, and then I put the seven there, which means the one's going to go in that space, and that's how you make seventeen hundredths. Now I could apply that. I could apply that same rule to figuring out what 17 tenths would equal. So if this is 17 hundredths, the last digit of, seven, of, this, uh, of the 17 would have to go in the hundredths place. If this is 17 thousandths, then the last digit of this, uh, in 17 has to go in the thousandths place. If I want to know what 17 tenths looks like, then basically I just have to put the 7 in 17 in the tenths place, which would be right next to the decimal. That would mean that the one would have to go in the ones place. So 17 tenths is actually equal to one and seven tenths, which does make sense, because if we drew that, this would be one whole, so this would be one whole and seven tenths, and one whole equals 10 tenths. So altogether, I would have 17 tenths. So it does make sense. Okay, for this homework assignment, uh, Engage New York uh, presents a clever way of using the place value chart to do metric conversions. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our place value chart and we're going to have uh, one, the one's uh, place, be a meter. And then we're going to use the place values to um, <coughs> for the conversions of that meter. So one-tenth of a meter is a decimeter. And one-hundredth of a meter is a centimeter. And one-thousandth of a meter is a millimeter. It says to convert 105 centimeters into meters. So I am just going to write 105 centimeters. Now, in order to do that, um, I would put the last digit of 105 into the centimeter spot. So the last digit is the 5, and then 0, and then 1. And then this would be 105 centimeters. And then I would just, all I would have to do basically is look at what it is if it was meters. If it was meters, it would be one and five hundredths of a meter. And that's how it works. Now I'm going to apply that same kind of rule to when I do, when I do my metric conversions. I have 108 centimeters. I'm going to convert that to meters. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to write 108 centimeters. And then all I need to do to figure out what it is in meters is look under meters and see what number that forms. So if meters is my units, my whole units, so they have one and eight hundredths of a meter. So that would be my answer. One and eight hundredths. Of a meter. So basically what I did in order to do that, 108, I would be dividing it by 100, which is 10 to the second power, to equal 1 and 8 hundredths. 
All right. Now let's take two and forty-nine hundredths of a meter, and we're going to convert that to centimeters. So let's use our place value chart. Two and forty-nine hundredths of a meter. Now I just look over to centimeters. I treat this as the whole unit. And I just take this whole number, just ignore that decimal, and what does that look like? 249 centimeters. So that's what it would be. 249 centimeters. Now, how would you get from 2 and 49 hundredths of a, of a um, 2 and 49 hundredths to 249? You'd have to multiply by hundred which is 2 to the 10 to the second power so 2.49 times 10 to the second power equals 249 all right 50 centimeters so going back to my place value chart I make 50 centimeters so the last digit in 50 is the zero so I'm gonna put the zero here and then the five in front of it so there is my 50 centimeters. Now, if I was looking at, if I was looking at it as meters, then it would become a decimal. So I have 0 0.5, and I don't need to put that zero on there. You can leave that off. Could leave it on, but I want to take it off whenever I can. So 0 0.5 or 5 tenths would be the equivalent. So. 50 centimeters equals 0 0.5 meters. And you can see that 50 becomes smaller, so I'm going to be dividing by a power of 10. So that's 50 divided by 10 to the second power equals 5 tenths. All right. 6 and 3 tenths into centimeters. So here's my place value chart. Under meters, I go six and three tenths. I want to know what that is in centimeters. So in, if I was looking at it in centimeters, I'm going to have to fill this place value. And I would, to fill it in, I'd put a zero there, and it would be end up being 630 centimeters. So 6 and 3 tenths meters equals 630 centimeters. So uh, that means I took 6 and 3 tenths and I multiplied it by 10 to the second power to get 630. All right, 7, now 7 centimeters into meters. So I take 7 centimeters, I'm going to put that in my place value chart, centimeters, there's centimeters, so I put a 7. Now I'm going to, since I'm looking at meters, which is here, I'm going to fill in my placeholders so I can see what would it be as meters, it would be seven hundredths of a, of a meter. So that's 0 0.07 meters. And since it got smaller again, I would be dividing. So seven divided by 100 or 10 to the second power equals seven hundredths.